All right, welcome to Pi CSC again. Uh, today I'll tell you about physical constants and units in SciPy and Python. So physical constants are things like the gas uh, gas constant, Avogadro's number, Boltzmann's number, um, anything to do in physics, H bar, etc. There's a couple of them listed uh, over here. And uh, also SI unit conversions, so how do you convert pounds to kilograms, all that kind of stuff. And they're really tedious uh, to look up all the time and uh, difficult to remember to high accuracy. And today I'll show you that scipy.constants has a lot of these uh, that are just right at your fingertips. So you can uh, see this link here, and if we uh, switch over uh, to that, then you can see a couple of, of things here, scipy.constants, we have pi, um, golden ratio, speed of light, lots of different uh, h-bar, g, uh, and so forth. And, and that's what I want to um, focus on today. All right, so the way, uh, the way we get into it is uh, we're going to import scipy.constants. And I'm just going to give it a namespace sc. And let's have a look and see what is in SC. So we run that, and here is a list of all of those um, attributes that are in there. So we can see Avogadro, uh, G, uh, a couple of function names, um, all of all all of these interesting things. So we can say SC dot um, n underscore a for Avogadro's number. And that gives us 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Now, I would normally stop there because uh, I don't remember 14076. Um, uh, ditto with pi. So if we say, um, I think it's just this one, we see uh, to quite a few uh, decimal places. Um, I, I typically know it out to 14159, but not past that. So you can save yourself a lot of trouble if you. Um, if you just use these uh, here, like the gas constants, another one that we use. And these are all um, where appropriate in standard SI units. So this would be joules per mole per Kelvin uh, as implied units. Um, we also have in here a uh, different way that we can access uh, these, and that is the CoData um, database. So if we, if we were to go back to uh, here, we have this constants database. Uh, the CoData is um, a set of recommended values for a lot of different constants, and they're all listed down here and uh, along with the units. So the way we do this is we just load the physical constants, and then we can access these by name. All right, so that looks like sc.physical constants. And um, I do a lot of, of molecular simulations, and so Hartree energy in EV is, is one that, uh, that I use a lot. And that tells me that it is 27.211386245988 EVs. And this third thing is the, is the uncertainty. And so this, this will give us um, the value and the units uh, that are there. And you're not likely to remember everything about Hartree energy and EV. So we also have a very convenient find, sc.find. Let's look for things that have the word energy in them. And that will give us a pretty long list. So maybe that's not a good one. So we can look for Hartree. And there's Hartree energy, Hartree energy and EV, all of these uh, different kinds of Hartree um, things. We might look for something that has the word gas in it, and that would give us all these molar gas constants, and we could then um, sc dot physical constants molar gas constant. So this is just acting like a dictionary, might actually be one, but now we see that it's 8.314 and so forth, uh, joules per mole per Kelvin, and uh, evidently zero uncertainty. So that's pretty helpful um, in the grand scheme of things uh, to not have to look up this number uh, over and over. 
Now, the, the last thing I wanted to show you is that there is a little bit of support for some units. And it's, it's not total support, but it still could be helpful. So um, we have a couple of units like sc.pound. So this is uh, a pound in kilograms. So a pound is 0.45359 kilograms. Um, we also have some uh, multipliers. So we have like sc.giga. And so that is uh, 10 to the 9. Uh, 1, 2, 3, yeah. So that's a 10 to the 9 multiplier. And um, we could do things like uh, a giga EV. So if we wanted uh, 10 to the 9 EVs, then we, we would get this, uh, this quantity in, in an appropriate um, SI unit of energy. Now, it's a little bit strange that there is no, um, like kilogram is not a unit. So we get an attribute error, and what is implied in the way SciPy supports units is that the SI units are all equal to one. And you could define that if you wanted to. Um, and I kind of like uh, to do it that way um, for, for the simple reason that we can start to do things like uh, con unit conversions. So let's talk about, let's do that for um, a meter. So let's write sc.m equals one for a meter. And now we can um, say like how many, um, what is an inch? So one times sc.inch, that is defined. And that's going to be 0 0.0254 meters, right? Notice there are no units and unit algebra is not, um, not supported in this. Um, let's say I want to convert, uh, do some unit conversions now. The way it could work is I could say 2.54 times sc dot um, centi times sc dot meter. And you could leave out sc dot meter. I just think it's very clear um, what's happening here. And so if we do that, then this is what it is in meters. If I want to um, convert that to inches, then we just divide by sc.inches. And so that gives us about one inch. One inch is about 2.54 centimeters. But again, I want to emphasize no unit algebra is enforced, so I can just divide this by sc.hour. And um, I'm not sure what that number is, but, uh, but it allows me to do it. And we certainly cannot convert a distance to a time um, by doing this, so so it's just uh, algebraic nonsense. Um, okay, so that's basically it. Uh, the The whole point of this video is uh, about scipy dot constants, and it has again lots of uh, helpful physical constants that you can access by name. You can get the units, the value, the unit, the uncertainty. Um, you can even look up individual components of it. And there are also these attributes up here like uh, that are helpful, Boltzmann constants, Avogadro number, um, lots of physics, R is a gas constant that we use a lot, uh, different kinds of G, Planck's constants, etc. So that is it. Thanks for listening. And if you like the video, please subscribe and tell all your friends. Thanks.